audio. <sighs> Dude. I don't know what number this is. I don't. 23? Maybe? Are we on? Yeah. Are we doing it? We can, we can call it 23. If it's not, it can be something else. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, my name is Drew. My name is Ian. Ian Lynch. My good friend that I've known for quite some time. Long time fan. Long. Super fan. Thank you. I even got a t-shirt made by myself. Did you really? I went to the craft store. What? I got some, some markers and, and I wrote dudes oh, with bruise on a porch. Oh, yeah? And I wear it everywhere I go. I've, how come I've never seen you wear it? What's it? I, it's 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 always on. It's underneath this shirt that I'm wearing right now. <laughs> I never take it off. I haven't washed. It's become a problem with my marriage. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. Well, fair enough. So you've. Uh, oh, Madison's also in the background. She's playing Minecraft. Say hello. You got talking. Hi. T- if you don't like Minecraft, you're crazy. If you don't like Minecraft, you're crazy. She says. <laughs> I have this but you can't hear. Yeah. Where you don't have the microphone. You gotta, you gotta get the microphone I'm in your face. I'm living with this creepy roommate. Enderman, an Enderman. Yeah, it's an Enderman. Maybe. He's wearing grass and it's really creepy, but he's my new roommate. I don't know too much about uh, about Minecraft. Y- you're you're a gamer, kind of. I do sometimes when when I have the time. Yeah. All right. So I don't. know. What's your top? What's your go-to game? Um, at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't played it yet, but I think when I get back, uh, the new South Park game, Fractured Butthole. I just beat it. <laughs> that's, that's that's top of my list right now. Yeah. Hold the mic like this. Like this. And this is, yeah, talk a little louder. Is it better now? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Thank you. There we go. You got to get the podcast uh, things going. <laughs> the problem the problem is with my, with my thing, I only have one XLR input. I gotta get one. Oh, you're running a splitter on it. One and a splitter, so okay. we're sharing the same thing, and balance is hard to do sometimes. So, I'm a podcaster on a budget, hey, it's son. <laughs> shall we? Uh, shall we talk about and discuss uh, the, the weekly brew that yes, you, you provided? Yes, yeah, we, we we should. So, so we're, we haven't done. We've only done one New Glarus beer, which is probably when it comes to craft beers in Wisconsin. New Glarus is usually on the top. Top notch, I'd say. Spotted Cow, of course. It's my personal I favorite. Of. I love Spotted Cow. It is delicious. But I'm glad you brought this. I've never had this one. It I is haven't a, either. A Cabin Fever Honey Bach. Supposedly, it's pretty new. I talked to a guy at a liquor store. Oh, yeah? I don't know, I don't know him personally. <laughs> I don't know his level of integrity. Okay. He may have just been trying to sell me beer. But apparently, this is new, and it's only been out for a week or two. So uh, I don't know if it's... We're, it was added back in 2011. Then he is <laughs> so goddamn this, liar. It might be seasonal. I think it's, it says cold days draws us close to the warmth of home fires. This is the season to sip away and chill and embrace quiet evenings with friends and family. Keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching <laughs> for the stars. I'm Casey Kasem. I like it. You hold a, a Wisconsin-style honey back, easy going and more uh, approachable than its traditional dark German cousin. Bach beers have existed in Wisconsin for over 150 years, believe that or not. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. This pale Bach is brewed with an exclusive blend of Wisconsin two-row barley that balances seamlessly with their European hops. Naturally sweet clover honey was added in the kettle, uh, scenting warm flavor notes on your tongue. Ooh. It is five and a half percent uh alcohol and there is nothing on the IBUs. It does not give us an IBU. It does not. Nope. It says it says no, and I'm going on uh untapped, which you can be our friends, dudes with brews on the porch and untapped, you can be our friends and follow us and, and find out what, what brews we be drinking. And uh let's let's go ahead and uh Let's take a sip. Let, let's, let's, okay. Let's put now it's really cold because it's been sitting in your. It's been in my car for the last two days. And the first time when I tried to pour, I was supposed to bring it into the hotel last night. It was very frozen, and I didn't because well, you had your handful of Taco Bell. Yeah, and and I did not remember. That's good, smooth. Yeah, it's it is real smooth. It's, 
It's not, you know, it's not very hoppy, which is kind of kind of a nice break compared to its darker German cousin. <laughs> that, that's oh. <laughs> there's a joke in there somewhere. If I just, I'm too tired to think of one. <laughs> no, it's not bad. I don't know. It's pretty, yeah. I mean, when it comes to color, it's a, it's about a medium. It's a medium, you know, medium golden thing. Yeah. I don't know any terms when it comes to beer. I don't need beer. It's a it's a yellow one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I like it. Are you picking up any of the honey? It, a little bit. A little bit. Not too much. I got a little bit in the aftertaste, but that's about it. Yeah, it's not overpowering or anything like that. But we like it. Yeah, it's good. And we we drank some new glares last night as well in in Madison, Wisconsin. We did before a show. Then you made me drink a PBR, and it was ugh. Again, we're we're, we're balling on budgets. <laughs> PBR is disgusting. <laughs> you know, it is. a lot of people are all about the, the the PBR and this and that, and it's like, no, dude, it's it's gross. It's gross. I don't know. It's a, it's another hipster icon thing. I don't know. People are gonna worship PBR until <laughs> until the day they die but uh, i i don't know why i drank it for a long time of course you did because i was just trying to buy as much trying beer as possible in. with as little money trying to be but cool <laughs> but no. you're not cool no uh, ooh, i don't talk about how indifferent i am to to starbucks coffee and get eccentric haircuts and mustaches but i have drank pbr but okay yeah pbr you know is it, it is what it is and when you need it, you need it. So uh, you're kind of, where were you born? I was born in North Carolina. I don't remember any of that state. You uh, were born in North Carolina? Yeah, I was born in North oh, Carolina. Oh, really? Yeah. In a place called Bun Level. Yeah. <laughs> Bun Level? Pretty, pretty cool. Maybe that was a county name. I'm not sure. It was near Bun Fort- Level? Yeah, Bun Level. Okay. Like your buns are level with that couch cushion right now. Yeah, I got it. But you gotta talk louder. No, it was uh, it was right near Fort Bragg in North Carolina. So your dad was in the military. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he still is. Yep. Well, he's kind not, of. He's not in anymore. Can't really talk about it. Well, I mean, no, it's it's not like that. Oh, like people aren't gonna like repel through your windows and like take us to a dark room somewhere if we talk about it. <laughs> but, oh, really? No, he. Uh, no, he, he he got out in I think like ninety five, ninety six. He retired. And then after September 11th and all that stuff happened, I don't know, all his old buddies started calling him and said, you know, hey, you want to make a lot of money? And he said, yep, I do. And he's been gone ever since. <laughs> yep, I do. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't? Who doesn't want to make more money? And you can all so you live in S- South Carolina right now. Yeah, South Carolina now. We moved there about six months ago from Colorado. Okay. So, what was Colorado like? You know, I feel like everybody... Um, Everybody here, especially, is all about um, Colorado. One because of the whole legalization, yeah, legalization thing. Of that's that's a mixed bag right there in itself. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Um, I mean, pe- people. Yeah, it's 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 neat, great. If that's your cup of tea, go ahead and do it. You know, I've done it a couple times in the past. You know, when I was a kid, but never touched it. Never, never really <laughs> floated <laughs> Just my boats. Uh, yeah, but no, he, he, the population in the city I lived in in Colorado Springs, the year they legalized it, the population jumped up by a hundred thousand. Um, <laughs> that's crazy. It sounds like a joke, but it's not. Uh, homeless rate went through the roof, and now the entire place is just run down with like new age hippies. Yeah, and, I bet. And trash. And I'm not trying to sound like trash. that right wing guy, but. <laughs> like I, I, they, they're not even good potheads you know like they don't even try mm-hmm. like they'll, they'll listen to one bob marley song yeah on man repeat for an entire week one love yeah, it, yeah no that's the one <laughs> that's it or buffalo soldier <laughs> no they, buffalo they, they haven't soldier. Even branched out that far yeah man spin that sublime yeah but no colorado is it, it's got its perks there's mm-hmm. a lot of stuff to do there's a lot of i mean you, you take it for granted while you're there, you know, waking up and looking out and seeing, you know, just all kinds of stuff, the mountains and stuff like that. It's it's a really cool experience, but 
I don't know, my experience was tainted because of that whole thing. Sure. Well, you're also, so you've been in the military now for almost eight years. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, you lived with me before you, before you left. I remember, yeah. I remember when you, you had to, you knocked on my door because you forgot some stuff and <laughs> right before you like shipped out to boot camp. You're in, you're in your suit or your, your uniform knocking on my door and I had to give you the thing. You're like, all right, man, see you later. <laughs> I forget what it was that you forgot. I don't remember that, man. That was a long time ago. But I remember it you know, pretty vividly. I, I don't know what I forgot, but... I remember I got a new bed, and I kept we kept my old mattress, yeah. and you slept in the living room, so you... I did, and I had to prop the mattress up it was like it's like one of the ones when I left for work. It was like one of those closet beds, sans closet. <laughs> <laughs> we just put the... You put the bed, we put the mattress against the wall, mm-hmm. and then when you came home at night, you threw it down and, and slept. Yep. No, we 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 made it work. Yeah, and I I appreciated that. You were a man. good roommate. You were you were. I you I, I, did the, I did the dishes at least. You did do the dishes over, over other. And then if you and then if you nameless. drink if you drink all my beer, you would replenish it. I would. I'm like some guy that I didn't even know <laughs> some, was gonna some, some other guy. That I some guy there. that I, I didn't really even know that was gonna stay with me. Yeah. Oh, that was a horrible situation. And I was glad it was over when it ended. Yeah, I felt bad about that. I tried to get us out of there as quick as I could because I know it was a burden on you. Not quick enough. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I know. (laughs) That was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. I had fun with that, man. I I, I really enjoyed those years. I mean, I I know you hated Walmart, and (laughs) I didn't really enjoy working there, but it, it, it it was a fun time. Being able to go there, you still miss you and hang out as much as you time. hate it. You still uh, you miss any place, yeah. You because know. you, you know, odds you are you people. you made some really good friends, or yeah, you met some cool people and stuff like that. So, um, I mean, when it comes to being in the military, you're you're really not like I said before. You're really not the standard military guy. And I'm not I'm not gonna ba- I'm not bashing anyone in the military right <laughs> now. Good. I'm not, but like if they're kind of in a in a way they're kind of like vegans. Yeah, where you as soon as you meet them, opposite end of you the spectrum know. vegans. I that kind that's of, one of the most accurate descriptions I've heard. Yeah, because you know, like vegans, you meet somebody. Hi, I'm Drew. I'm vegan. I'm a vegan. Like that is all. Like you meet all these people, they, they just ever at least one time per <laughs> per convo. It's you, they mentioned. Did something you know about, about my service in the United yeah. States military? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and you oh, don't man. do that. Well, you know, and I was, uh, um, where are we past the statute of limitation? What's what's the statute for s- sleeping in a uh, army barracks without being <laughs> Dude, there's without being in the there. army? Nobody, nobody gives a shit about that. No. It, 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 again, nobody's gonna break through your windows and haul you off to Guantanamo well, I didn't know. Bay for it. You're good. <laughs> well, yeah, I, 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 for the first. No, I went to Alaska. You that was where you were originally yep. stationed after originally boot camp, got stationed right? in Fort Wainwright, Alaska. Mm-hmm. Coldest place I've ever been in my life. Never want to go back. Which is in Fairbanks. Never a million years. Yep. Which is how I met my wife. Yeah. Yep. This is true. So I mean, if I had not gone there, who yeah. knows? Not the greatest place in the world, but it had some benefits it's, and some blessings. It's not bad. It's not a bad place to be. Cold in the winter. Very and it's cold. weird, and it's dark in the winter, and then in the summer it's it's light all the time, and it's very confusing. It's a nice place if you like the sensation of waking up in the morning, walking outside into the cold, and having a feeling like somebody just punched you in your throat when you try to breathe. <laughs> yeah, I, but yeah, no, we, I, we had I, a good time. I, again, I, I I always focus on the negatives, man, just like Colorado. But no, Alaska was a great experience. Some of the best summers I've ever had in my life. Beautiful, mm. beautiful beautiful place if yeah, you're ever going to go and visit for there sure. and don't be like timothy don't be like timothy treadwell and, and try to hang out with grizzly bears <laughs> no Do, you, tried, we watch it yeah, don't we, we we watched watch grizzly bef- man before before i left for uh <laughs> for a let or before i left for the army in general man we watched grizzly man i remember that we were talking about it and then i got my orders to alaska yeah at the end of it and i was like oh god that's going to happen to me. I'm well, going to be up, the guy. He was up I'm going to go up there and I'm going to get eaten by grizzly bears. <laughs> I had this painting in my mind where I imagined Alaska 
was like, I mean, th- you know, no buildings, no nothing. Like everybody was living in like igloos and tents yeah. and everyone rode snowmobiles everywhere. Mm-hmm. Not the case. It's just a normal town. And it's, they call, well, they call snowmobiles snow they, machines. They call them snow machines and they'll make fun of you if you call them a snowmobile, which is completely ridiculous because a snow machine would be something that makes snow. It would be a machine that makes snow. Yeah. And I always like say. Like a snow machine. I always say, do you call, do you call cars road machines then? <laughs> You know, yeah, I suppose. I suppose they what would. would. A, what would a, a bicycle be? A, a sidewalk machine? Uh, a shoe machine? Yeah, a wheeled shoe machine. Yeah, it's a weird terminology, but yeah, I hadn't I gone there? But I mean, I never really signed anything when I was there. As far as what? I spent ten days in your army barracks. Yeah, because cause I snuck you in and told everybody that you were just a guy on leave, and that's why you had long hair and a beard. <laughs> I didn't have a beard then. Oh, you, you had some gnarly hair, though. Mm-hmm, it was very long. I remember I had a room inspection, and one of the... Uh, yeah, one, he called me out. One of my team leaders came in, and he said, who is that? I said, oh, it's a, it's a new recruit sergeant. He 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 just came off a of leave. He'll be he'll yeah. be in on Monday, but he's going to a different battalion. He looked at you for a minute. And he was like, "You need to get your hair cut before you come in." Yeah, he did. He did tell me. Get, told me to get my hair cut before before Monday. And I said, oh. "I was like, okay." And then I Monday, I wasn't there. Yep. I had a pretty good time. The last night that we spent there was actually pretty fun. We actually yeah, partied we, in in the barracks. Yep, we did. Which was which was pretty cool. I remember, I don't know if you remember that. That was the most accepted I felt. Yeah. the whole time by the army community. And and that's the thing. Like, like all, otherwise they just every, look at you like everybody seems rough around the edges for the this most part. But the the general population of the military. Everybody has to have that that ego and that oh I'm a man's man and all this stuff and like uh, I don't know. When everybody drinks, it disappears, and they're just normal people again, but I don't know. Well, you know, I don't I just, it's just weird. It, being in the military, I think, would just be weird, because definitely a different lifestyle, but I mean, you've been doing it for eight years. You're, you're not sure what you want to do uh, after the next thing or whatever. Yeah, I'm debating stuff. Um, I honestly, like, I'm at a point in my life where you just think, you think ahead, and it's... You know, I, I just recently started a new job, so I'm kind of really... And congratulations on that. It's a cool gig. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 not too bad so far. But, uh, um, you know, so like, let's say I put my 20 years in, 20 years, I'll be, I'll be 47. Yep. So I'd probably continue to work, but I have my time in. You know, you put in 30 years, I'll be 57. Yep. So, I mean, it's... Uh, that's still pretty young to retire, but even if you put 30 years in, that's a good amount of time, and, and that's a good opportunity to retire and do whatever you want. No, absolutely. I mean, you can retire before you're 40. Yeah, so where I'm at right now, I'd be yeah, I'd be getting ready to turn 40 years old if I stayed with the Army and I did another 12, mm. um, which, which isn't a bad thing, but it's just... I mean, it's like I said, you've you've got you've got aspects of your life that you're completely out of control of. You know, sure. like if they want to send me somewhere, they're going to send me somewhere. You know, if my wife can come with me, she can come with me. You know, and it's just you, you lose a lot of that free will, but after mm-hmm. a while, you get you get used to that, and you know how to kind of compensate it. And you, I mean, you just you get used to the way the life is that way. And yeah, you learn how to flex. Well, you're a you're a drill sergeant now. I am. <laughs> I never, in my wildest <laughs> dreams, would have imagined this is where I. You know, would have I remember been. I remember being in like a a tiered classroom in high school, <laughs> and the, the, you the, the media library. Yeah, yeah, and you fucking crawling under every desk all the way down. Yeah, we were and watching. Then you sat by the teacher, and she looked at you. <laughs> And just kept watching the movie then. And then you crawled all the way back up. And then and then she looks over and you're gone. And she's, no. Oh. Yeah, we were watching, what was that, Lord of the Flies. Because we had read the book and it was- Was Miss, it Lord of the Flies? It was either, it, it was Mrs. Tech's class, right? Yeah. 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 And we, we had read Lord of the Flies and then we were in there in the media Did room. Did we read it? What's that? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think we read it, and then, and then we watched the movie. Uh, Maybe it was just one of those end-of-the-year things she had us watch it. Uh, but I remember that. Me and I think I think... I think Allard was in that class with us too. Yeah, we? yeah, yeah. We had crawled the desk and I'm like, I we did snuck too. Up. Yeah, yeah. Nope. We all did. <laughs> yeah. And then you go all the way from that to a to a drill sergeant in the United States Army. Yeah. So it, is the drill sergeant duty like? Do, do you like it? It's. I mean, it's a mixed bag, man. Uh, the hours are long. So so we work in we work in ten week cycles. Um. So when the kids get there. And they'll, they'll they'll generally get there, and then for about the first three weeks, which we call red phase, it's just supposed to red much be phase. Ha- yeah, red phase. So we have phase three phases, and they're all like three red weeks state. Long. Yeah, you ever see that movie? Yep, I love that movie. Kevin That's Smith movie. made that movie. I love Kevin Smith. Me do. <laughs> He's my idol. If you're listening, I appreciate He's your not, work. He's not at all. I know. Someday when this blows up, he's gonna right. go back and listen to that sure. episode. Should this be? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna play this episodes when new recruits come in and be like, "This is what really the drill sergeant's <laughs> like in the downtime. He's not the hard ass that you think he is." No, nah, man, we're really not. Like, I mean, yeah, I, I, I mean, we've been in for a while and we know the game and we know you know how to deal with it when it sucks, but. I mean, overall, man, we're still people, but they they can't see that. Like, they're supposed to see us as just machines. Like, we don't eat in front of them. We don't sleep in front of them. We don't talk about how we're hungry. We don't talk about how we're tired. You're men. So, like, when we want that stuff, when we want to eat or we want to take a nap or something like that, like, we got to pull off to the side and be like, hey, man, cover me for a little bit. Like, I got to go. Because those first three weeks, when it's like hell on earth for them at first, Mm -hmm. we're working like 20 hour days. It's a long day. Yeah, it's a very, very long day, <laughs> especially when you're screaming. Like, we all lose our voice, too. Like, we try and control it. Sure. Like, because like, there's a way to modulate your voice. Are you supposed to scream at them? I mean, like, th- what, what, what's the training process of becoming a drill sergeant? Is there a training process? Yeah, so there's an academy that you go to. It's called the United States Army Drill Sergeant Academy, the U.S. Profanity U- 101. USA and it is the it's one of the worst schools i've ever been to not because it's <laughs> bad in quality <laughs> it's just it's a horrible experience to go through because essentially what you're doing is you're going through 10 weeks of basic training again oh really but now you've been in the game a little bit longer so doing this like medial stuff it's, yeah. it seems just redundant and like a waste of time but you've got to check the block because everything that you require them to do you have to, I mean, you're expected yeah. to know how to do it, you know, as an expert and be able to explain it to them. And then on top of that, you got to memorize these things called modules. 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 Everyone knows what modules are. We all had to do modules and for some sort of work. They're, they're horrible. They're like five page, just by the number, hey, this is how you do this one simple thing. So like, so like standing at the position of attention. Right? Yeah. Pretty simple concept. Stand sure. there with your heels together, right? Yeah. With your feet canted out at like a 45 degree angle. Keep your hands by your side, okay. right? Yeah. With the with with your fingers curled and stand up straight, right? Don't mm. move your head and eyes, you know? It's something simple, right? But no, they're going to turn it into a five-page thing, right? And every single one of those you have to memorize verbatim and really? then pitch it in front of the drill sergeant leaders. And if you screw up one word, they'll kick you out. Really? Yeah, it's 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 a lot of work. So it's just a matter of memorization. Over it is. It's and a lot over of memorization. And, over. and that that school Damn. is in Fort Jackson, where uh, where I'm doing my drill sergeant time right now. Mm-hmm. And to this day, if you go by there at like two in the morning, you just see all these kids out there in the parking lot, chain smoking cigarettes and reading books and trying to yeah, memorize. Just like you. Stuff. Yep. <laughs> chain smoking son of a bitch. Yeah, I've cut down quite a bit though. Yeah, I was I was very surprised yesterday. I think you only smoked what four or five. Yeah, and that was drinking too. And normally so that was a pretty bad night. Yeah, I mean normally you fucking. I used to crush like two packs a day. It's disgusting. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's disgusting. But it's my crutch. Some people we're actually going to do. A, we're actually going to do cigarettes. A, a spinoff called Dudes with Chew. Dudes with Chew. <laughs> We'll try a different kind of grizzly. I don't want to do that. That sounds disgusting. 
Chewing is gross. That's one thing I could never get into. I've I, done it. I've yeah, I've done it a couple times too. Like if I really, really just absolutely never again will I in my life yeah. ever. It's just so gross. Yeah. It is like legitimately just like if you, if you don't do it all the time, mouth. like it, it's it's it'll make you like it'll literally I, make first, you nauseous. First time I ever did it, I threw up. First time I ever did it, it's up. just it's not a yeah, fun it's gross. experience. It's very gross. And uh ugh, ugh. Smoking is disgusting too. Yeah, I know it is, and I'm I'm, I'm trying to wean myself Get off. Get the ashtray mouth. Hard road. That's all right. No, you can do what you want. I don't. I really don't care. Yeah. You know. But no, you were good about it yesterday. Yeah. I was surprised. You you went with dinner with the whole time without going out to yeah. smoke. Well, I try to be good respectful about that stuff too, man. Oh, you like, do. Like, like I I don't I don't try and make it like a burden on everybody. Like like oh I need to go and smoke. Like I. Uh, I I don't do it around people who don't like it. I try not to. I try my best at that. I don't do it around kids. Period. I don't even let me see them, or like see me doing it. Yeah, that's gross, and I don't want them For to sure. make the same mistakes I have. But it's not a mistake. It's, it's just a habit. Man, it's an addiction. Everybody's got something. I've got a disease. It's know. called addiction. I know everybody says it, but hey, at least I'm not a heroin. <laughs> Ugh, that's a that's a horrible thing too. Y'all. It's a big problem. It's a, it's very unfortunate. A lot of good people get uh, hooked on that stuff. So, uh, being a drill sergeant, do you use the word maggot a lot? No, actually, I don't. Bummer. That's so, kind of, that's kind of a, a a con. Well, well, well. See, I'd love see, to call them maggots. And, what do you? What can you call them? Is there things you can't say to them? Really, all that stuff. So, so this is where it's shifted. The whole PC thing, the politically correct, all that stuff. You PC, bro. Yeah, it, it, no, absolutely. PC principal has broken in, and he's taking care of the army. So really, uh, you can't you can't say anything like that. Like I mean, like if I went in to work and there was a trainee just doing something that that's the thing too. You can't even call them by their rank anymore. You can't say hey private. What that, that, that sounds offensive and it's degrading. Private? Yeah, which makes no sense at all. Don't they call so, you drill sergeant? Yeah, but what we have to call them is trainee because one, it's not gender specific. And two, we're not Neither trying to degrade pri- them by Neither their is private. Yeah, but but calling them by their rank, I guess, was too aggressive, which is the most ludicrous thing I've ever heard of in my entire ludicrous. life. Ludicrous, that man ain't ludicrous. Yeah, Woo! I like his music. I like his work. That's weird. But no, and and it's not just that. I mean, like if 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 one of them was doing something wild, right, just absolutely horrible, like I couldn't be like, hey, you know, like like motherfucker or something like that like i couldn't say that you know like or you can't say like you're you know a piece of garbage yeah right? because if i said you're a piece of trash right? yeah they can call an inspector general and say this person told me that i'm a piece of trash and my career will be over for something like that so what can you say so i can say you're acting like a piece of trash or you're acting <laughs> like a fucking moron <laughs> And like I mean, there's 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 workarounds, but it's it's hard, man. And, and yeah. especially with these kids, because like I, I'm not that person. You've known me for years. Like I'm not an and angry for a long person. time. I don't yell. I'm a pretty chill person, and I try to be nice to everybody. So this is a different thing for me. Yeah. But at the same time, like you've you got, got a job you've got to, to do. You've, you've got to have that discipline. And so, really, that's 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 how I do it. I'm quiet most of the time. Yeah, like I'll talk to them in a normal, calm voice, like I'm talking to you now. Mm-hmm. I'll teach them what they need, and I don't scream all the time. But when I need to, if I raise my voice, they know that something bad just happened, and yeah. they know to stop. And it's it's literally like trying to be a parent to sixty kids at the same time. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I, I'm not a parent. And they all think, kids, and they but. all, they probably probably think that you know they're they're top notch stuff because they're they're so cool for joining the military. Which, like again, it, and they do. I have no problem with it. I've thought about. I sometimes I wish I would have uh, enlisted, but, but I mean, it, it's fine it's now. it's a thing, man. Like that, that's like like you were talking about before. Like everybody that you know, like the second that they open their mouth, hey, you know, I'm a veteran, or hey, I'm in the military, and all that stuff. Like, yeah. they're, like they're vegans. 
like that, it's part of it too, man. Because when they leave home for basic training and all that stuff, they're real pumped about it. And they tell everybody. Sure. And then when they come home, you know, their families are all pumped up. They're like, "Oh wow, you're a brand new person." Blah, 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 blah. Mm. And I mean, yeah, it's cool. It's cool for yeah, them. Yeah, no, for sure that is. But like, I've been guilt tripped well, by by veterans before. And, and, and see, that's the thing that I hate because at the end of the day, it's just a career. Nobody is this well, isn't this isn't, this isn't Vietnam. Career, you know, man. it's not it's it's not, you know, World War Two. No nobody's getting drafted to be in the army. Yeah. You volunteered, you put yourself but there. Still, there's there's something heroic about that. Yeah, and, and and no no I get that. And I mean like like I've I've been overseas, like I've done all that shit and, you know, I mean you know, yeah. I, I I've got buddies that have done that stuff. I've got you buddies got that have lost a lot and it, it's just but you know you don't flaunt it because I think if you yeah. if you truly are one of those people that have gone through some tough and traumatic stuff, like you're just happy to be here, you know, and you're just happy to he, be a person, you know, was, living your life. It was over the summer when I was still doing stuff for the radio station, and then you know we have all these events, you know, La Fair, Wally Weekend, all that kind of crap, and we have the stupid lame prize wheel, yeah, that. You know, sometimes the prizes are good if we can get good prizes, and sometimes they're not. But one guy, he didn't like what he landed on for the the. He didn't like the free prize that he got for spinning the wheel that cost nothing to spin. He didn't like the thing that he didn't have and then acquired for yeah. absolutely nothing. Yeah, and he or or Makes he got sense. or what it was is I think no he landed on summer a summer fest ticket so we got a free summer fest ticket. And he complained about that. Yeah, because he wanted two. And I was like, Ugh. and I was like, uh, he's like, can I get another one for my my girlfriend or whatever? And I'm just like, I was like, no, man, that's that's not how this works. And then he's like, oh, she's in the military, man, or now she's a police officer. And I'm a vet, and this. And then I was just like, I was like, hey, man, I I appreciate that. Like, thanks for all that you've done. And he's like, well, and I can't get a thing now. I'm just like, I was like, man, that's that's not how this works. And then I I ended up giving him one because I was just like I'm like come on man like if you're gonna flaunt it like that you you you're in it for the wrong reasons then and, and and that's the thing man like like I think people lose sight of that and 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 honestly yeah like when when people do pull that card and they play it you know on on regular you know Joe Schmo like like you know you I mean you don't know what to do and you don't know how to properly react because if you were to say no man you know screw off whatever mm. like you know you you look like an ass and yeah. I get that and I understand why that's a tough pre- you know predicament to be in but at the same time end of the day like that should have never came out of his mouth yeah you shouldn't use that people do all in the time. that way because your service isn't an entitlement you know your sacrifice doesn't mean that you're entitled to whatever you want whenever you want. Mm-hmm. You know? Like if you were an Avenger, <laughs> I get it. You know? Sure. Like 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 Iron Man. Yeah. You know, I mean if you were Iron Man, yeah. You know, on the house, whatever you want. And people do that and it's nice, but at the same time, you know, just back to that thing, you know, you volunteered to do this. You knew what you were doing. Yeah. You made that decision. You're still a normal person. The rules still apply. Laws are still there. Yeah. You know, you got to live with everybody else. This is true. Madison's uh, Minecraft thing going on right now is pretty crazy. Her house is impressive. She built her own house. You she could has a, get. She has a roommate still there, Enderman. It's it's still going on. She's, she's pretty crafty with the Minecraft. You could get your own show on HGTV. <laughs> and all they would have to do is just film you playing Minecraft. Right. I have seen her renovate this room probably six times already, and every single time it is a drastic improvement. <laughs> and the property value of this home on her server on goes server. up. Every time. Just just crazy We're amounts. We're in creative mode, not survival mode. We're friends in this world. It's. I mean, it's, it's impressive. Our sheep don't die when they fall into the lava. No. They swim. I got a burp. I got a gas bubble. <laughs> Did you want to share some of your some of your home makeover tips with she the wants, people that are listening, Madison? She wants her own YouTube channel. Sure, I do want my own YouTube channel, but I'm just gonna have to wait till my birthday or Why another your, special event. What are you talking about? Your birthday? I don't. I don't know if I feel comfortable with you being on YouTube. You're only nine. 
I don't. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of that. I don't like that idea. This is different. There's girls that are like a year old that they have their own YouTube channel. I just don't. I don't like it. One year old and they already have their own YouTube channel. Yeah, there's some babies. I thought you had to be 13 to sign up for YouTube. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're yeah. you're even too young. You you, you don't want to even... do that. You don't want to fall in with those with that bad crowd, those one year olds, because they're breaking the law. <laughs> they are criminals. They're juveniles. <laughs> she doesn't know what that means. <laughs> and it's, it's not a place that you want to be, Madison. It's yeah, not. it's weird. It the the way the world is going. I don't. I just don't want. No, I don't want my kid to be on YouTube. I'm sorry. They're I'll put her on here every that. once in a while. It's different because it's just people's voices. Yeah. You know, so. Uh, uh. I just, honestly, the, the the thing that worries me about that is just the people that are watching it, you know? Certain individuals. Yeah. yeah. And I think that can remain unsaid. But. Probably some disgusting yeah. white dude. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, I, 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 I don't think I'd feel comfortable with that either. But someday, Madison... You're going to have a show, and millions of people will watch it to get your advice on how to increase the property value of their homes through, through renovations Minecraft. on Minecraft. Through Minecraft. Of yeah. Of this, I am certain. She's done this all from scratch. Nothing pre-made about this house. She's, like, look she's at that put, blue carpet. Nobody told her to in. put that down, but it perfectly accents the bookcase <laughs> and the, the nice, rich, white. Case. What is that? What is that? Oak? Is that on the on on the wall? I, I mean, it, the room just has a flow, a natural flow, <laughs> no, it and it looks very, very impressive. <laughs> it's modern, yet it's still classic. I don't understand Minecraft. I just don't get. I don't understand what the what the point of Minecraft is. There's a story <laughs> mode game of it, isn't there? It's showing, it's showing how you can do your art and how you just like. You how you don't want to just do it always on paper and like out of that you can do it. It's showing you how to be creative. Yeah, be creative. Well, that's good. Thank you for the clarification. And there you have it. Minecraft is an outlet. I play games that you just viciously kill things. But that's the thing, you know. I mean, that's what separates her from you. Like butthole from self. <laughs> she is expressing wasn't, her emotions wasn't through, called the, butthole. through the majesty of fractured, a simulated world. Fractured under her butthole. Control. Fractured butthole. Not B U T T, B U T. W H O L E. Yeah, W H O L E. There's nothing to really about game, that. Dude. It's clean. This a really good game. I'm really excited about it. Stick of Truth was great. I, I played that. The, the entire thing, the campaign, I couldn't stop. I wanted to. I was really tired the night that I started it, and I just couldn't stop. It was too hilarious. Like, I forgot I was playing a game. I felt like I was watching an episode of South Park. I was. I, I fell out of my chair literally a couple times because I was laughing so, so funny, hard. It's so funny, man. It's, it's a good, it's a really good show. But uh, this one, you know, I kind of I had most of the week off F of is after Christmas here, so like I yeah. had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off, didn't go back to work. Now I work Thursday, Friday, now I'm off uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I think this episode will come out Tuesday, so, you know. But, uh, um, yeah, I, I pounded through. <laughs> uh, no pun intended, I guess. I, I pounded through fractured butthole. But, uh, <laughs> um, and it was a lot of fun. Inappropriate jokes yep. is what I like, a and plenty. I have like when it, it's I have a very wide range of senses of humor. Like I, yeah, that is the Ender Pearl. Finally, I killed my roommate. Yeah, not too many people get to say that in Minecraft. Let's let's add in Minecraft, not in real life. Minecraft. You don't want to be on that episode of like like what is it, Kid Killers? Yeah, yeah you show? don't want to be on that show. But again, that's the that, that, that's the magic of Minecraft, right? There's no negative repercussions to your actions. Huh? <laughs> what the heck is Kid Killers? It's a show about kids who who kill people. Yeah, you don't want to be one of those, yeah, do you? You don't want to be on that show. 
Very bad. Where do they live? Where do they live? Uh, psycho kids live everywhere. <laughs> you just gotta you gotta watch out. You know, you gotta pick your friends wisely, because you never know when some might. Okay, that's that's enough. You're gonna give me nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say you never know when someone might stab you in the back, both figuratively and literally. Literally, <laughs> literally, the box getting to you. The what? The box. I'm getting the cabin the fever. Bo- the cabin I got fever. The cabin fever. <laughs> I got a fever for more cowbell. Let me see if one of these is is not so frozen. Yeah, is. You're lucky they didn't explode. Thought, yeah, that, that's what I was telling myself because I, I was gonna grab them out of the car when I got back to the hotel last night. But dude, I'm so I tired. Had way too much to drink at that show because it was too much fun. It was a really good show. It was a really good show. A lot that, of fun. The wreck hit was awesome. Fuck yeah, they were. You're scared of what? You said kid killers. And babe, there's no there's no kid killers anywhere. It's just a TV show. It's it's nothing. You got nothing to worry about. Nothing. If any, if anyone tried to hurt you, Madison, you know what would happen? I would, I would go you barbarian would on them. I know what you're gonna say. I would, I would obliterate them. I would erase them from existence. No one touches my baby. You tell your bo- your future significant other that. No one touches my baby. Absolutely. They mess with the bull. They get the horns. <laughs> I'm always watching. You have a very indifferent look on your face. Madison is a little diva. So what's the difference between <laughs> what's the difference between Minecraft and and Roblox? Did that just come out of you? What'd she say? She fart? Was that real? <laughs> yeah. What'd you do? Did you toot? Did you hear that? I felt no. it in the couch, and I'm on the other end of it. That, no, I'm not even trying to embarrass you. I'm impressed. That was solid. That was good work. See, my dad thought I po- uh, I not pooped. I farted earlier today. My farts aren't silent. Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we lose control whenever Madison's on on the show. We you never know what she's going to say. Remember, I don't mind. <laughs> is it kind of weird that you remember the show Kids Say the Darndest Things? It's kind of yeah. weird that Bill Cosby hosted that. Uh, he never did anything to kids. Yeah, but still, I don't know. But he still did some very inappropriate things. Yeah, he did. Pudding. Pudding pops. Pudding. <sighs> Quailugs. You <laughs> He used to sing the, the, the Jell-O theme song, too, didn't he? The J-E-L-L-O. I you remember know. those? It's alive. <laughs> yeah. I remember him in... I re- never liked Bill Cosby. Do you remember him? Yeah, he creeped me out in Jack. He was never... Remember that movie with Robin Williams? He's where in he Jack? Was, yeah, he was in Jack, I I, I think, unless something... Jennifer uh, Lopez, dude. No, nah, no. Nah, well, I don't know how you get yeah, them confused. I didn't get them confused. No, because remember, they go up in the treehouse. Yeah. And there's somebody that goes up there with him, and he starts singing that song, like, why is everybody always picking on me? Was that Bill Cosby? I don't think I'm so. I'm probably making somebody really mad out there Isn't because it? they know the movie Jack from the 1990s <laughs> really well, but... It's like, I thought it was sad. Him. Because remember, movie. they're up there and they cook up that. Yeah, that weird it looks like an eyeball. Paste and ketchup and all that. I stuff. don't know, dude. I've seen that movie like twice. I can't. There's certain movies like when I watch movies, it's really weird. I don't like sad movies. Just At be, all? I watch them, but I'll just watch it once and I can't do it again. Well, Jack wasn't sad. Through, absolutely, oh, it was yeah. sad. I guess it was. He, did, didn't he die? No. But he had that he had that aging disease. Yeah, where you know he didn't have any friends because he was kind of an outcast that way. But then and then he graduates high school. He looks like he's like you know sixty something years old. That's like that was like a true story. Yeah, the thing I just I don't know, man. It's it's, it's hard to watch. It's sad. What you need? Sit by you. Okay, you can sit by me. Come on, come on and, and plant it, baby. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You gonna keep on playing Minecraft? Minecraft. Did you stink up the other side of the couch too bad? You had to go over there? <laughs> I will try to because <laughs> my dad will get upset of it. I don't get upset. 
Oh yeah. Um, he's mad. This is why he hasn't done his podcast for a while, cause his boss took away his computer. Because what? Wait, I've done my podcast every week consistently. And his boss took away his computer. Who's his boss? His boss used to be Terry, out of the radio station. Oh, all right. We don't need to give out this. This private, this private intel. No, he doesn't listen. It was a work. <laughs> it was a work computer, so that's why he, he took it. Because I don't work there anymore. But he hasn't took anyone else's that you said. Right, Madison, you gotta stop. <laughs> you get no more mic time for you. Say say goodbye to the people. Never. Okay. <laughs> she is a diva. She is. She is. I'm gonna um, put this down for a second. I'm gonna fill mine up. Okay, that's fine. Top you off? No, I'm fine. No, right. but uh, um, I was saying, anyways, with, like the like sad movies. I just can't. I just I don't know. It's like going through a, a traumatic experience. Like if I know something, like in, it's a bummer of a movie or a, just an uncomfortable TV show, I won't. I don't want to watch it. Like there was that show called Thirteen Reasons Why, which is based on a book of the same name and Sierra was watching it and I woke up at the wrong time because it was when the, the that one I, scene, I think I know which scene you're it was talking like pretty, about pretty intense scene where yeah her and a guy and uh, hot ugh. tub um I don't remember what it was yeah yeah I remember what but I talking about. I was just like what is going on and Sierra's like yeah she gets raped and I was just like Ugh, yeah, this we- is really uncomfortable for me. And I was just like, I am going to bed. No, we. I heard it's a really good. Too. I heard it's a really good show. It, I, I mean, it, it really is. But I mean, the that's, premise alone is is uncomfortable. That's sad. That's the thing, though, man. I mean, like that's that's the emotion they're trying to evoke in that kind of that kind of show. And I mean, those kind of movies. And if that isn't your cup of tea, like I understand that, but I don't know. I. To me, like I don't enjoy watching that stuff happen, but I enjoy the experience of it. I enjoy like that because I mean, really, honestly, the, the sad movies and the ones that make you think like that. Sure. Like I mean, that, that just makes me think a little bit more about because I, I, I like to I'm, laugh. I, I'm I'm guilty of that. Like if I get stressed out at work and stuff like that, you know, I'll be an ass to somebody. You know, not intentionally or because they did anything wrong to me, but like I mean, you know, if somebody's doing something dumb you know i mean like you know huff and puff about it but at the end of the day like who really cares about that stuff and you know watching that kind of stuff and you know seeing those kind of things i just don't like to watch it you know i mean makes me uncomfortable you you don't get that stuff every single day and kind of seeing it on there i think that kind of helps level people out sometimes maybe i just like to laugh i like funny stuff no and there's nothing wrong with that i like that stuff too or i mean like stranger things that's not real. <laughs> like that's, that's not going to happen. So I can watch that. Well, you don't think it's going to happen. Maybe maybe it is. I mean, maybe, maybe there is a parallel universe maybe called Maybe it already down. did, and we just don't know about it. What if, like, we're in, like, a rerun of World, like, in that South Park episode right now? Yeah. With all the crazy things going on. Isn't it weird that people deny global warming? warming? I think it's ridiculous, and... Pardon me. I know he's my commander in chief, but the mm-hmm. fact that our president can't even accept that global warming is real is is probably going to be an issue. I'll just say that. We won't say positive or negative, but it's going to be an issue. Yeah. Uh, you're trying to spell mini? Yeah, mini. So- sound it out. Mini pew pew. Okay, so how do you spell mini? Like mini mouse or like mini fridge? Yeah, that's right. No, like mini, like miniature. Okay. Small. Not mini mouse. Why do you think they call her mini mouse? Because she's small? I don't know. Mickey Mickey Mouse. Mini. Is it weird that like some establishments, like uh, their their main mascot is a rodent? Yeah, kind of. Disney World. Now that you now that you say that, based on a rodent. An entire world. It's like it's like it's like that movie Willard, kind of. Yeah. With Big Ben, only his name is Mickey. 
It's like they're laughing in the face of all those affected by the Black Plague uh-huh. Uh-huh. that wiped out 80% of Europe, you know? That, that's kind of messed up, Disney. Why? Huh? It all started with rats and stuff. Oh, did it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen... Just, I mean, they're just, just slander, you know? That's Chuck all e. Disney Cheese. is. Chuck E. Cheese, mascot's a rodent. Yep. And, you know, now that I think about it, don't think in Avenger, because they're owned by them, too. Those now, guys aren't worth it. They weren't. They haven't been. <laughs> for majority of their existence, they weren't. Well, the ne- the next Infinity War, not the one that's coming out, but the one after that, that'll be made under the helm of the big black ears. Is it? Yeah. Home huh? Spider-Man was. Oh, no. You know what? Yeah, they do own Marvel already, don't they? Yeah. So it's it's 20th Century Fox that they just, they yeah. just got. Okay. Then Which, yeah. uh... Um, the Simpsons called that. Yeah. Which is weird. They called a lot of stuff, man. I don't know how I feel about that. He's a time traveler. Yeah. What? Read the sign. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> is that going to be your studio, Madison? No, nope, that's going to be my room, and then I'm going to do another studio. I'm going to make a studio. That's actually a good idea. So I'll make a studio, but first I have to make the guest bedroom and bathroom signs. Again, the property value of this home is skyrocketing. <laughs> For those of you at can home you, that can't see this, I pity you because it is an experience. Can you put uh, in the bathroom, put poop here? <laughs> I'll put that there. Thank you. Because it sounds really good and then funny. And put another one in the living room that says not here. Madison appreciates a good a good poop joke, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's the funniest poop joke you've ever heard? I don't know. Okay. Tell me one. I don't know any, to be honest. You don't know any? No. No? Yeah. What's poop plus pee? Poopy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There you have it. Funny moments in the living room. Basic bathroom math. Yeah. I like it. I'm really tired. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Not I had to work at the radio station this morning. Yep. Even though I quit, I was still there. <laughs> Why? I had to do some stuff for him, some work. I'm going to get paid Are for Are you still it. going back? Or what do you that mean? The, was that the last thing? Um, I don't know. If they need help from time to time, I'll still do it. Okay. I enjoy doing you know certain things there. Yeah. So... I have a passion for radio and and broadcasting. Oh yeah, so definitely. It's hard I, to step away. I think I, I think that's that's apt because you definitely have a knack for it. Maybe I'll let me see you do it again. Something. I don't know if I have a knack for it. No, absolutely you do. I just do it. You've been doing it for what? The better part of what five years now? Yeah, um, four. Yeah, four years. But still, man, that's almost a half a decade on the air. I guess. But I I I I know it's your day to day, but like I think that's really cool, man. I really do. Like the whole Drew's Punk Rock Power Hour and stuff like that. When you told me about that, I was so thing. pumped up for you. I know, and it's it's cool. You know, you're out there on the radio. It's yeah. not the most popular form of media nowadays, but I mean, there's plenty of people. It's that small listen. radio, small market radio, but still, but still, you know, you got a voice and you got a platform, and you're able to push stuff. And it's, I'm gonna use cool. that, damn it. There's people that listen to uh, this, and uh, now I'll, I can, I guess, say technically across the country. It's not in every state by any means, but well, you've got you've got listeners in South Carolina. Yeah, I can tell you that you got at least one that may have shown up two actually because I, I listen to it on Breeze phone sometimes when mine's dead. <laughs> there you go. There's uh, there's some in California. I I got there's some people in in Washington, okay. Seattle. Um, some in Oregon. Really? Yeah. Oh, there you go, man. See? I guess. You're knocking yourself too hard. Everybody Just loves talking about you. beer that they most likely don't have access to. And I don't know if it's been touched Sucks on because be I them. missed. I, I listen, I listen to almost every single one, but I think I, I've missed maybe three or four of your episodes. How dare but you? Just in case it hasn't been addressed yet, for you folks at home, <laughs> the face <laughs> behind this voice is is something to see 
the host that you've been listening to pretty for, hard to for look, the last pretty how, hard to how, look at. However, however long you're listening has been Drew Glazer of Pew Pew Audio, mm-hmm. main host of Dudes with Brews on a Porch, is extremely handsome. <laughs> He's got great hair. Thanks. A strong beard. I have a receding hairline. His face is very symmetrical. Aren't you supposed to be pretty gray by now? I thought you were going to get the gray hair. Me? No. Yeah. You know, that, that's what I thought, too, because my dad said, you know, I mean, hey, I started going gray in you know, my mid-20s, but it never happened for me. Look at you. So You're very strapping. Nah, not as, not as much as you. You're right. But it's okay. Thank you. But, yeah, if you haven't, look him up on Twitter. Look him up on Facebook. You know, just 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 relish. I'm not going to add anybody on Facebook, um, but yeah, Twitter is fine. Just what at Drew Glazer. What? All you're going to add is when I get a phone is me, and when Ashton gets a phone is that on Facebook. I'm you're not on Facebook. Well, when I get older, I will. My mom says I might get a phone when I'm 13. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. 13. I'm going to be 13 when I get my first phone ever. That's Solid. fair. 13 is a good age for a cell phone nowadays, yeah. I say. No, I was, absolutely. I was 16 when I got my first one. That's I was too. That's what I used my first paycheck on from Walmart. Was it? Like yep. A track phone? Uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I think it was. I don't know if it was that same brand, but it was one of those that had like a slide-out keyboard, and it was super cool. <laughs> I was texting so fast. Yeah. Do you get like, uh, being in the military, do you get like discounts with stuff like that? I mean, yeah. I yeah mean, there yeah, are cool perks. Yeah, 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 yes and no. Like, I mean, like some people do them. I, I, I don't, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm more of a, like when I'm not, like when I'm in uniform, man, I, I'm, I'm a different person. Like I have to be, I you know, especially with being a drill sergeant. But like you know me, man. I like put I'm, my pants on one leg at a time. Exactly, exactly. But I mean, I, I, I try and, I try and not play that card. I just don't like that. Like I mean, I get it. It's there, and yeah, there's a reason, and a lot of people are, are thankful for that stuff. But I don't know, man. I don't feel like anybody deserves special treatment. Oh, it depends. I guess which kind of. Rudy makes me use it though. Like when we go through Taco Bell. Yeah, why not? She'll be like, "Show me your military ID," and I'll be like, "I don't want to. I don't want to be a nerd." And then she'll be like, "Damn it! I want well, that. I want that quarter." <laughs> and it's all right, man. Like I get it, but I don't know. Yeah, well, I mean, you're giving up a lot of different things for. If I'm buying something that's really country. expensive, though. Like no, I'll ask for that. <laughs> yeah, I would. Like when too. I was at Best Buy and I bought I bought the TV for our new house, I asked for that. <laughs> I definitely did. It just saved me like a hundred dollars. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, why not? I use the perks when you can, and well, I mean, I th- you deserve it. You've you've put in your time. You've been deployed twice. Yeah, twice. So was it Kuwait one time? Yeah, Kuwait, that, I don't even really consider that a deployment. That was just a really long, long, boring, I don't know. Pretty boring there? Yeah, I mean, it, like... I, Good vacation to, spot? To, 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 to be real with you, like, like the only thing I did there was sit there and guard, like, an oil factory. Well, that's... That's okay. it. And the only reason we're there is because we give a shit about their oil. Of you know? course we do. <laughs> yeah. Like, I sat there and guarded a gate where people came in and out to work at that oil Cool. Three. And then you spent a year in Afghanistan. Yeah. No, I, 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 Afghanistan had I don't know, so, some scary some of, stuff. Some of the best moments of my life. Some of some of the worst. It's it's, yeah. it's a mixed bag, man. It's, I was very nervous when you went went over there. Yeah, I was too. <laughs> <laughs> I was very scared for my boy. But I came out one piece, man. So yeah, it's good. Did you see any of those freaky ass spiders? What's that? Yeah, camel spiders. They're actually not as. I mean, yeah, they look scary. Like they look, they they, they look horrifying. But <laughs> like they, they're not like they're not like trying to get you. Like everybody says. So well, like, yeah, I'm sure. But I'm just thinking like so. The the reason that everybody gets scared of them is because where they are and where they live, like it's really hot climates, right? Yeah. And they live on sand. Sand, you know, 
reflects the heat from the sun and like you know they're just always burning up and they're uncomfortable so what they'll do is they'll run into someone's shadow to try and cool off and then when they see them (laughs) they'll run away and then what the camel spiders do is they try and run and stay in that shadow so it looks like they're chasing you but really they're just trying to cool off and people lose their minds (laughs) over the years i've kind of developed a most likely irrational fear of spiders and snakes I mean, most of that stuff, they, they're, not gonna, they, they're not going to attack you or do anything unless, like, you quarter them and Ugh. make them feel threatened. No, thank you. Especially snakes, man, because, like, I see Ugh. that all the time. So like, scary. Like, we'll be out training and stuff like that. You know, like, the kids will stay outside and stuff like that, spend nights out there, sometimes weeks. And, you know, they'll, they'll come up and go, Tristan, Tristan, there's a snake. There's what, a snake what, in my boots. What, what, what'd you do? And it'll bring us over there where it is. Like it doesn't want to like fight anybody. It's not trying to murder. Well, you. I know, I know. It usually, it's like you know, we'll unless, grab it's prov- we'll, unless it's provoked. Yeah, like 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 we'll grab it and we'll just you know take it like away from where we're training and we'll just let it go. <laughs> or somebody will smash it with something, but I try and let them go. <laughs> yeah, Ugh. that's terrifying. Well, man, we're getting to that point. Yep. Hey, we're, that's all right. So, is this where we do the? Is this where we do the judgment call on on cabin fever? I got the cabin fever, <laughs> the cabin fever. Did you remember? Did you ever watch that movie, Cabin Fever, with Sean Hunter? Yeah, wasn't is it? Jesus Christ, Madison. <laughs> good God. Oh, that 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 was a solid one. That was good. <sighs> Rumbled. Good work. But anyways, do you ever see that movie? Let's say yeah, Cabin Fever a long time ago. There's yeah. two of those with. Both with Sean Hunter. I've never seen a second one. I, I don't think made, I have I didn't either. They were allowed to make a second one. I don't think I've seen it. I thought, they, and then they made it like a, a like a, a TV movie or like a Showtime movie as well. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. You know, all this is about being people being sick. <laughs> that's all it is, and it's a horror movie. Like people, that, that, that's all there is to it. It's like tainted water. That's ridiculous. Huh. That's kind of weird, huh? Yeah. There's also movies about turkeys killing people. Are you talking about Thanks Killing? Yeah, that's a oh good yeah, movie. that's a classic. The Ginger Dead Man. That, that that is a holiday season favorite. What the heck are you talking about? Outstanding movies. Turkeys kill people? No, just one. It's a fictional movie. It's not real. Good, because you kind of are giving me nightmares, especially kid killers. Madison. <laughs> it's the name of a TV show. I apologize. I shouldn't have said anything. I, I apologize. I don't forgive you. <laughs> wow. It's going to be a long road, but someday, huh? someday, maybe you'll be able to mend this bridge. <laughs> right. Right. Madison. Am I, do, do you still love me? Yeah. That didn't sound too convincing. I do. Okay. And there you have it. What was it's your, been remedied. What was one of your favorite, not not your, necessarily your favorite, but one of your favorite Christmas presents this year? Mm, the tickets. Tickets to what? You got to speak louder. The drone jet in a hockey game. Yeah, there you go. Gonna go see Joan Jet. You, you, your mom got you a hoverboard too, which you're kind of a master at. How do you like it? Yeah, I do a lot of tricks on it. Yeah, you spin were around a lot earlier. I can tell about you that. all of my tricks. Tell me some of your tricks. Poop the potty <laughs> 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 and you wiggle, wanna... wiggly wobbly, and uh, looking at the turtle. So I won't ask you for every one, but can, can you just explain one of them? I have like, videos like, of how, it. how they go? How's a wiggly wobbly? Go? How's a wiggly wobbly? What do you do? You have to um like go back and forth. And that's it. Just go back and forth, wibbly wobbly. Boom 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 boom. It's like it's like um, it's like the um mole cop where they um. You know the things that they go on the mall, the poli- the mall police where they like go on. Segway scooter. Yeah, they're like that. So 
<laughs> if you need lessons to do a segue, first do a hoverboard and then a segue. There you go. Life lessons from a nine-year-old. And uh, yeah, so cabin fever. Cabin I got the fever. fever for more cabins. Um, I think it's, it's a winter. I'm getting. I'm gonna guess it's a winter time, like um, seasonal. seasonal. One. That's for, so when the guy said it probably just came out. Yeah, he probably he's just probably meant talking for about the that season. Yeah. But it, it's been around for for about six years now. Uh, New Glarus cabin fever. Drink or dump it. I definitely say drink it because it's good. Yeah, I would definitely say so too. I mean, you can. Especially after you've been drinking it for a little bit, you get that uh, a hint of honey in there, but it's nothing overpowering. It's not too sugary. It's, a, it's, it's good. It's a good beer. It's very good. Is this how you dining? Yes. Dining good job. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we're going to kick it to a band called The Gusto right now. The song is called The Plot. They're a band from Madison, Wisconsin. They're very good. They're a good punk band. Check them out. Uh, I think they're on Facebook. They're good. Thank you for being in Madison, Wisconsin, because Madison's my name. <laughs> and it's the same thing, how you spell it. N-A-D-I-S-O-N. Yep. Good work. All right, man. Thank you. You're not going to say bye? Oh, yeah, sure. Bye. Or you're welcome. Well, ma- or ma- thank you for Madison, having me. Ma- I accidentally hit stop, so I don't know what the last sentence was. But what were you, what okay. were you saying? Anyway, yeah. Hey, thanks for having me. This has been a dream of mine for a very long time. Yeah, it has. Long time listener, Good. just hugest fan. <laughs> and to be here, I mean, I can't explain to you how surreal this feeling is, and just being surreal. here in this in this living room and being able to share this with you be has been anyways. has been something that that I'm going to talk about. You know, to everyone, <laughs> for as long as I live. <laughs> Thank you. I love you, and I love this show. Without it, <laughs> I'd be lost. Correct. Bye. Pew pew. Adio.